chaired a COBRA meeting, uh, we're very clear there could be an imminent Russian invasion of Ukraine. And our first priority is protecting British citizens. British citizens need to leave now while commercial routes are still available. The language from the US and the UK has really escalated in terms of the Russian threat in recent days. Why do you believe a Russian invasion is so imminent? Well, we are fully aware that there could be a Russian invasion almost immediately. That is why British citizens do need to leave Ukraine. But we are also pursuing a path of diplomacy and de-escalation. That is why the Prime Minister and I are travelling around Europe this week. That is why we are working to persuade the Russians to remove their troops from the border, because a war would be disastrous. You talk about diplomatic solutions. What does that look like? Is it the Minsk agreement? Is it something else? What's the diplomatic solution here? We're very clear that Russia is the aggressor in this situation. They have 100,000 troops lined up on the Ukrainian borders. They need to de-escalate because it will be a cost to Russia if they invade Ukraine, both in terms of the cost of a long-running war, but also the sanctions that we would impose, which would be severe and would target oligarchs and it would target companies across Russia. Critics would say that the sanctions that the UK has considered in the past have never been fully implemented, so this might be a lot of tough talk, but in terms of a deterrent, it's pretty ineffective. We've just introduced new sanctions legislation, which is the toughest we've ever had against Russia. That enables us not to just target companies with direct effect on Ukraine, but anybody or any company that has a bearing on the Russian state. And that would seriously destabilise the Russian economy. The Prime Minister today said that European countries need to get Nord Stream out of their bloodstream. Was that a dig at Germany? Well, the Germans and indeed the Americans have been very clear that Nord Stream 2 would not go ahead in the event of a Russian incursion on Ukraine. And the Prime Minister is right. We do need to reduce dependence on Russian gas in Europe and find alternative sources. You talk about the renewed diplomatic push. Of course, your meeting with Sergei Lavrov last week ended in what some might consider a pretty insulting press conference. How did you feel after that? Well, I went to Russia to deliver a very clear message, which is that it's Russia who is the aggressor they have 100,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. And if they stage an incursion into Ukraine, that would have a damaging effect on the Russian people and the Russian government. Of course, the Russians didn't like what I had to say, but I say it nevertheless, and I want them to desist, and I want them to be aware that there would be severe costs of an invasion. You say that an invasion is imminent. Is there still a diplomatic solution here? There is always a choice, but that choice is for Vladimir Putin. He needs to understand that there would be severe costs if he invades Ukraine. And those costs would be felt by Russian companies, by oligarchs and ultimately the Russian people. He needs to de-escalate. He needs to take his troops away from the border. Final one. I asked before, but Minsk, is that a possible way out of this? President Macron suggested revitalising, reviving the Minsk agreement is one way that may avert an invasion. It's important that Russia holds to what they've agreed in the past. In the 1994 Budapest Agreement, they agreed to protect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. Of course, we need to implement the Minsk protocols, but the first part of that is that Russia needs to remove their heaven weaponry from Ukraine and they need to create a ceasefire. And they haven't done either of those things. And those are points that I made to Minister Lavrov in Moscow last week.